tell us, what is the theme of this year's CPAC? A time for action. The conservative movement, the Republican Party, has never had so much political success, which means they've got the White House, they've got Congress, Neil Gorsuch on the Supreme Court in that pivotal seat, and conservatives now want to see action. They saw a lot of action as 2017 came to an end, but they want to see it keep going in 2018. Well, as we're on the cusp of midterm elections, last year the big Republican accomplishment was tax reform. What do you think will be the accomplishment for this year? What is the top priority to get done between now and the midterms? I mean, I would say it was tax reform in 2017, but stripping away for all intents and purposes the individual mandate, the uh, uh, opening up of ANWR for drilling and exploration, those were big achievements. I think in 2018, they're going to try to push several initiatives. Obviously, the president has talked about prison reform and this concept of criminal justice reform. Uh, he's got an infrastructure package that he's pushing and trying to work with the Congress on. He'd obviously like to get a big deal on immigration. Uh, this terrible tragedy in Florida will have uh, politicians talking about solutions on the, on, the, on the gun front as well. I think the big thing for the president is, is this word security. People feel better about their economic prospects. They feel greater economic security. And let's face it, he's projecting s strength overseas, which keeps us safe. And I think people do feel more secure, and I think that's what the election's going to be about. I want to ask you specifically about what we have been hearing in the past couple of days about gun control, about school safety in particular. Yeah. Wayne LaPierre addressed this crowd uh, earlier today. The president's set to speak tomorrow. Do you expect that he will allude or make remarks in his speech about school safety and gun control? And has this really become the main issue for when Congress returns next week? So, you know, Mike. Pence, the vice president, had a whole beginning of his speech about the need for kids and, and teachers to be safe and secure in our schools, and no American should feel unsafe in our schools. That's a terrible thing, a terrible dynamic. Uh, and I think the president feels the same way. I think the listening session he had with these the victims' families was an important next step in all of this. But let's face it, it's a democracy. We're going to have a conversation, left, right, center. Uh, about what should be done on guns, but also what should be done on violence. Why do we have so many people turning to violence? It's really a, uh, it's a tragic thing that's happening in our society. Final question for you. I've covered several of these CPACs over the years. I remember when a private citizen Donald Trump would come yeah. and he would walk through the lobby out there and be swarmed with fans. What is it like, put it in perspective for me, that all of those previous CPACs, when you know Sarah Palin would come out with the big giant cup and what is it like for, for now President Trump to come? Put it in perspective for me. Yeah, so basically when Republicans are out of power, certainly out of the White House, um, they talk about what they would do if they ever got back in power. The big difference now is we've, we've had those achievements. We've got the power. What are we going to do with it? Uh, you know, so I think the tone here with a lot of the speakers is just a little more sober because, uh, you know, you can't just attack the, the other party that's in power. We've got to talk about what we've done and what we plan to do, which is serious business, because our problems uh, are concerning. So that's what I'm taking away from most of these comments. We have the Secretary of Labor on right now behind us uh, talking to Kay Coles James, the new head of the Heritage Foundation. And uh, look, it's labor policy. It might not be the most scintillating <laughs> policy, but there's some real serious questions that Secretary Acosta is dealing with. And so, uh, you know, with uh, this political power comes responsibility.